Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show. I'm Jennifer Ben Brahim. Coming up on today's show. I put that on my mama, on my hood. I look fly, I look good. You can't touch my back, wish you could. Look... It's the biggest night in music. The 66 Grammy Awards just took place in Los Angeles and we'll be bringing you the winners and the highlights from the ceremony. And I'm joined on set by a Parisian band whose star is on the rise. Now later count French astronaut Thomas Pesquet is a fan and they've even had their music featured on the series Emily in Paris. Now the four piece are on tour of her debut album Walking on the Line and I'm pleased to say I'm joined in the studio by Charles Marie and Paul. Welcome Hi. to France 24. Thank Hi, you. Thanks. Hi. Now before we dive into the big winners of the Grammy Awards this year I want to ask both of you who were your top artists of 2023? You want to answer, yeah. uh, my top artist was definitely uh, Lana Del Rey. So, like her whole album, um, did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? I listened to it like all year. <laughs> okay. Good yeah, and I think uh, I listen a lot. Uh, Jungle they release a new album, Volcano, this year, and um, I love this album. Yeah. I love that one as well. We actually had him on the show a few months ago to talk about that album, so excellent choice. Okay. Now let's actually get straight into the winners uh, then. And it's fair to say that Taylor Swift stole the show. Now the superstar made history by becoming the first performer to win Album of the Year award four <laughs> times. Now she won for Midnight's and she actually received the prize from the icon herself, Celine Dion. Now she actually made a rare appearance uh, after disappearing from the spotlight due to health reasons. Let's take a quick listen to one of the songs from Midnight. This is Bejeweled. Best believe I'm still bejeweled when I walk in the room, I can still make the whole place shimmer. And when I meet the band, they ask, do you have a man? I can still say I don't remember. Familiarity breeds contempt, so put me in the basement when I want the penthouse of your heart. Diamonds in my eyes. I polish up real, I polish up real. Now, Taylor Swift also used her time on stage at the Grammys to announce she's actually dropping her 11th studio album, uh, and it's actually called The Tortured Poets Department, and that will be out on the 19th of April. Uh, now, Charles-Marie and Paul, are you Swifties? <laughs> uh, I don't think we are Swifties, yeah. but uh, she's definitely a great lyricist, and she knows how to make pop music, that, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, but I, I didn't listen to her music a lot, so I don't know. But yeah, I agree with you. Maybe someone to discover this year. Yeah, sure. Her new yeah. album. Yeah. Now, uh, speaking of albums, uh, Walking of the Line is actually your first LP. And now it's a real blend, blend of French touch, uh, soul, jazz and rock. Um, who would you say are your musical inspirations? Uh, for this album, it was definitely a more uh, rock influenced album for yeah. us. And for example, we were listening a lot to The Doors. Uh, the Velvet the bits, Underground, yeah. like classic rock music, and it was a huge inspiration for us in terms of, uh, m uh, like, in terms of music, but also in uh, with the lyrics, like uh, writing poems. Uh, yeah, it was really uh, rock yeah. music. Well, I could definitely hear a little bit of Jeff Buckley in your voice, uh, oh. and we're actually going to take a listen to one of the songs from the album. Uh, this is a very mystical feeling live performance of Lemon Trees. Take a listen. So that was Lemon Trees from the French band Later's a debut album. Now we're going to go head back to the Grammy Awards and some of the other big winners of the night. Now R&B star SZA, who actually led the pack with nine nominations, took home three awards, including Best R&B <coughs> Song. It was also a big night for Billie Eilish, as well as the all-girl rock band Boy Genius. Now you may be surprised to hear this, but Miley Cyrus won her first ever Grammy Award. Uh, she took home a record of a year for the extremely catchy breakup anthem Flowers. Let's get a reminder of that track. I can buy myself flowers, write my name in the sand, talk to myself for hours, see things you don't understand. I can take myself dancing, and I can hold my own head. Yeah, I can love me better than you. 
So that was Miley Cyrus with Flowers, but I have to say the performances of two music legends sort of eclipsed these young stars. Now, Tracy Chapman sang her hit Fast Car, and Joni Mitchell gave a spine-tingling first-ever performance at the Grammys at the grand old age of 80 years old. Now, this year also saw the inclusion of a new category, uh, that being Best African Music Performance. Uh, South Africa's Tyler took home the award for her sultry track, Water. Now, she was nominated alongside other artists, including a Nigerian superstar Davido. We actually have a chance to speak to him in Paris about the timeliness of this new award. Take a listen. I'm really happy for this new category, you know what I'm saying? Not only for myself, but for, you know, the other nominees that were also nominated alongside me. You know what I'm saying? It's something very, very beautiful, given, you know, you know, people back home can sit down and be like, whoa, I can actually make African music and win a Grammy, you know what I'm saying? So that's just really amazing to see, you know? So I'll say, I'll say God's timing. I want to say it late. I'll say God's timing. So that was Davido speaking to us on France 24. Now a reminder, I'm actually joined in the studio by Charles-Marie and Paul from the French band Later. Uh, now, uh, you actually sing in English, uh, but you still have this very French sound. Um, and you even recorded your music right in the heart of Paris in the Pigalle neighborhood, which is kind of known for being very creative. Uh, why did you um, want to stay rooted to a French sound? Uh, I don't think we choose to have these sounds. Uh, when we compose, we just making music and uh, we all do all instruments and we uh, find melody and uh, extra. And I think it's natural for us to have this sound. And uh, we don't, uh, we are not uh, like uh, in studio and uh, okay, we want to uh, this sound like that or not. I think it's yeah, more natural. I don't know. Do you want to say something? Yeah. yeah, do you agree with that? Singing as a singer, do you feel like you know when you're singing in English, do you still feel like you're kind of transmitting that French touch? Uh, I I don't think that is something that we want. It's just mm. something that we do. But we definitely uh, will keep on singing in English, writing in English because it's the music that we listen to. Yeah. And so yeah, it's our big influence. Of course, of course, I don't know. We're French, so maybe we're. Uh, like we're used to listening to that type of music and we have like Daft Punk or yeah yeah in our heads so yeah all the yeah. French touch I think mm. yeah, is uh, another influence for us I was gonna ask you are there any bands like French bands that you see having success internationally who you kind of uh, want to kind of follow their path their career like Daft Punk as you mentioned yeah and we and uh, recently we like uh, the band like uh, L'Imperatrice they work well uh, in in the US or international, uh, yeah, it's quite uh, it's quite good inspiration. Mm. Now you're actually going to have a quite a major milestone for your for your career. You're playing on the 27th of February at La Cigale in Paris, a really iconic venue. Uh, and I know you've done many many shows, but how does it feel transitioning onto such a big stage? Is it scary? Are you excited? Uh, we're very excited, but we yeah. haven't done that much shows yet. <laughs> so, but I remember then we first decided to to do this venue. We were like, okay, we can do it, but we really have to like to be up to the challenge, you yeah. know. And so we we worked like so hard, and we really want to to put out the best, like in terms of music and also presence. Like we really want to enjoy uh, this moment because, yeah, of course, it's very special for us. Well, that's very exciting and what a great venue to play. Now, I want to ask you, uh, going back to your lyrics, uh, I feel like your songs really talk about this idea of like heartbreak, love, but also loneliness. What was the inspiration behind uh, this record? Uh, the inspiration is really about daily life and it's like uh, very much automatic writing. So it's not usually I find the sense of the lyrics after I've written the whole song and I discover some new aspects of the song that I haven't thought about. So, but yeah, it's really about, uh, I don't know, the, the feelings of the moment. So uh, there's no general theme left. Okay, it was definitely worth checking out and a little cover of your album for you to all check yeah. out. Now we're going to actually finish the show with someone who is, you know, like you will be in a few weeks time, no stranger to a big stage. And that is uh, R&B superstar Usher. He is set to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show. And this is just days after he drops his new album, Coming Home. <clears throat> now it's jam packed full of star collaborations from Burna Boy, Lato to the singer Her. Now we're going to play out with a track called Risk It All. And before we go, I want to thank Charles-Marie and Paul from Later for coming into the studio. Uh, and uh, good luck 
with your show at La Cigale at the end of the month. Uh, now remember, there is more news coming up on France 24 just after this. Just to